All right, we're gonna try this again. First video I filmed. Looked good, sound good. Uploaded YouTube. The whole video was upside down. So if any of you guys watch that, this is gonna be the same video as the last one. It's just not gonna be upside down, hopefully. I love technology that I don't understand. <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, <laughs> yeah, Maxidyne EMDT engine out of the Mac kit. Got out the beating wire, put some detail in. I've got all the fuel lines coming off the injector pump. Some various other detail pieces. Out of the engine, out of the engine. Yeah, out of the engine. Out of the engine, into the engine. Yeah, I'm freaking being dumb today. So this would be the right side. Details. Spin this around, see if I can do it without knocking it over. So there's the uh, fuel lines coming into the head. Oil return line coming out of the back side of the filters into the block. So it took me a few tries to get those to what they are. Am I 100% happy? No, I'm not. Four, five, and six, they're stacked up pretty good. They look uh, uniform. And number three, number three on the injector coming out and rolling over it. So that one's a little wonky, just a touch, but you know, it's there. There's going to be uh, some stuff covering up, so you're not going to be able to eyeball it head on or do anything. It's good enough, let's put it that way. Because I've already gone through and made like four sets and ripped them off, tossed them in the garbage. Engine and transmission on this kit, they're uh, separate units. I know uh, some AMT kits, they're molded as one, but for whatever reason they molded these two separates. These wheels, kicking around the idea of uh, fashioning a set of floats for the front axle. Give it that wider bulldog stance. So those those wheels are actually out of the uh, Peterbilt cab over turnpiker kit. I feel like I'm repeating myself because I just did this video, but uh, that kit was pretty cool. Stock parts in that kit came with the uh, big Texas bumper and fenders for the rears. They were all it was all molded as one unit and then kind of kind of wrapped around the frame over the top and the uh, the fifth wheel sat down inside it actually had a notch for it it was a nice kit I was a dumb kid and I didn't know how to build models then and here's the lone survivors they were chromed I dechromed them everything dechromed real super super fast and clean and the actual the lug nuts are actually look like lug nuts. They're hexagonal in shape, and there's a center bolt in in the middle. And yeah, the molds over the years have lost some detail, that's for sure. But that's that for now. I don't know if I make any decent progress. I'll give you guys another video by the end weekend, and the end of the weekend, Sunday night being Sunday night. Like I said, I'm being dumb today. Uh, yeah, it's one of the things I told myself when I came back, you know, for this year, you know, I want to, I want to actually finish some stuff and give you guys more update videos. So you guys know I'm still around and kicking this last, last absence from YouTube. No, it was, it had to happen just because of everything going on in my life, like I said in the other video and, but you know, I want to start being a little more active and contributing more start building some more models lord knows i have enough of them i have enough of them started i need to finish but the first half of this year is going to be a challenge just because of the move and new house and everything else but push through it if you guys have a great weekend i like seeing seeing uh, the updates for the big rigs 
I've got a, a few more guys that I've subscribed to just because of this build. So these group builds are good just for getting people in touch with other people that they wouldn't find normally or whatever else. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Take care.